All right, friends, today we're taking a look at another block of number transforming figures from SirToys.com. We've got zero through nine. They all have robot modes, or I should say vehicle modes, and then they all have a party trick afterwards. So let's go ahead and get into the first set. Starting with zero, because that's where the numbers start. You can see it's kind of brown, and then there's the star on the back. Well, this guy is going to turn into a Humvee, which is actually pretty cool. To start off with, come down to the side here, split it open, and really, all of them that turn into bland-based vehicles kind of do this. So split those sections open, slide them in, then come to what is the front of the vehicle mode and flip up the guns or headlights, then come to the middle section and flip it out and open it up to form the very front of the Humvee. And we have this cute little Humvee. It works well. It's neat. I like it. Would have liked to have seen a little bit of black here, but I could just, you know, paint that myself. Next up is the number one. And again, this is going to be a land-based vehicle. So this is going to turn into a tank. To start off with, come to the back of the one and flip open these sides. Then take the top bit, flip that out all the way up. Front of the one, flip up the treads, flip the section that we just flipped out underneath, lift up the tank barrel, flip out the turret of the front of the turret, and we're done. Now one thing that is cool is, yeah, even though these treads are a little bit in the way, you can push the treads down a little bit and they will lock into place on that panel that we opened up, and then you can turn the turret around. What's even great, better, the turret has elevation. That's so cool. So many tank transformers or things that turn into tanks that I have, like, they can't do both turning and elevation. So very, very nifty. And next up is the number two. To start off with, come to the bottom sides of the number two and fold them out. Then flip down the nose cone. Come to the back of the number two and... Or, I should say the top, and flip up the thrusters. That whole section will fold down, flip up the tail wing, then fold the blue section we flipped up earlier down, and it will snap into the back, flip the wings around, and peg them into place. So I'm going to pull them away from the body, flip them around, and then peg them into place, and we have this little jet. Yeah, that's supposed to be like a missile launcher or, or something like that there at the top. I guess it's supposed to be a jet. It looks more like a space shuttle. And for the number three, this is actually going to have the most complex transformation so far. Come to the top and push these sections up so that they're angled. Then there are these wheels sticking off the back. We'll fold up these panels. Come to the bottom of the three and open it up, and that will then have, well, missile tank cannons. We can reach underneath, flip that out, push this whole uh, section. Uh, this is actually the hardest part of this transformation. You don't flip it out. You have to push it down, and then it will allow you to slide it out. But pushing it out is really really hard because there's nothing to get your finger in to do and as you see I already popped one of the missiles off but they go right back on so what I end up having to do is take my thumb and push it against this little area here and it will unsnap and I already did it off camera so then we take that kind of get this section out of the way pull it all the way down until it snaps into place and flip it around 180 degrees, close the panel up underneath like so, and then that's it. We've got this missile truck. And you can, if you want, fold these out like that or fold them down, but really they're supposed to be up like this. And we have a little missile truck. And last in this set is the number four. Start off with, open up the number four, flip down this pink piece so you can open up the panel and then flip it all the way around close the panel up flip down the little gun flip down the rotors and fold them out 
and then flip these sections out in the back. Open the panel. Whoop. Open the panel up underneath. Flip out the tail rotor. Close it up. And we have a little helicopter. Little orange helicopter that goes. Flip, 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 flip. Okay, yeah. Um, it's silly. It is a very, very silly little helicopter. What are you gonna do? Now this first batch is obviously military vehicles. The second batch is as well. And it works. I think it works. We've got a plane, a missile truck, a helicopter, a tank, and a jeep. Wait. Military missile truck, helicopter, jeep tank, plane. Huh. Now, these. We've got a minus sign. A square. I'm assuming that an equal sign. A plus or an exclamation. And then two fists. Yes. These four combine. Now, for the combination, we're going to start off with orange and green, the equal and the... I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Anyway, you reach underneath and flip out toes, and you do that for both of them. And then those toes will peg into the tank and the Jeep, or the Humver. For the tank, just fold up the turret, find the one of these that has the smaller pegs, and peg it in like that for feet. For the Jeep, the directions say you're supposed to just be able to do that. I don't like that. It doesn't work. So fold up the front, peg it in, and then connect it like that. All right, so we've got the legs off to the side. Now for the midsection, which is gonna be the truck. So first off, unpeg these guys. Then open up the missiles and they will peg into place. Take the head that is conveniently hidden within the front of the truck and wedge it out, but I end up needing to use anything else just to wedge it all the way out like that. Flip it around. And then when we do that, flip this panel back out, turn, oh, and flip this section down, turn these whole section 180 degrees, and then put the truck in and slide it back into place without pinching your Ribbon fingers, ow! And then take these sections and fold them down for some reason. I don't know why the directions say to do that. And then the pieces we flipped up before, they will peg into these peg holes on the side. And then, oh, that's this is actually the hardest thing to do. And then we can add the legs doesn't really matter which which leg goes where next we'll take a helicopter flip up the front and then flip well you can close the rotors and then close this if you want you don't have to directions are a little bit iffy actually and then peg that into place Grab a hand, like that, and then unpeg this to form the chest plate, and peg that into place. And then the minus will flip out a gun. Ooh, and we're missing one. Missing the plus. This will slide back, reach underneath, and flip out the gun. Flip down the handle, and I like to put this in the palm before I put the palm on. Finally, the shuttle, which we then just fold the wings up and flip up the nose cone and attach the fist, and that's it for this guy. Actually, I think I've got the guns in the wrong hands. And then lastly, and probably my favorite part, we have an extra piece. Well, that extra piece gets pegged in to this and then becomes kind of like his backpack. Like so. 
Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> it broke. It popped off. Like that. Ah, close enough. Yeah, and so we end up with kind of like a pseudo Bruticus. Kind of knockoff number Bruticus, which I think is really cool. So we've got, again, we've got the Jeep or the Hummer and the tank, the missile truck, the jet, and the helicopter. And I mean, yeah, that's that's practically that's a close Bruticus. It's really cool. I, I like this thing a lot. Height wise, it's well, I mean, it's practically the same height as MP10 Prime. So for like 10 bucks, you're getting a numbered combiner that's the size of NT MP10 Prime. Plastic quality isn't the same, but it's still really cool. And now we're going to move on to the next set of numbers. That's five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And this set also comes with two giant robot hands, an equal sign, a plus or well, I'm going to say that's a multiplication sign, yet another plus or multiplication sign, a minus sign, and a box. Still don't know what this box is for. The number five's transformation is by far the easiest. Start off with come to the top, flip open this orange bit, flip it around, and then put it back down. Take this little orange grill, push it up, then come to the bottom of the five and flip up the wheels, and then come to the back and flip out that section. And then we have a, well, the front of a cab for a tractor trailer. And then we flip out this section to plug it in, to plug something into it, which we'll get into on the number seven. Number six is by far the weirdest one for me personally, because it leaves you with an extra bit for some reason. Start off with, come to the top and flip open these top panels and they will peg into place up in the back. Then grab the orange piece and unpeg it, flip it up. Then this entire bottom part pulls out and you put it off to the side for right now. Come to the bottom of the six and flip up the sections and combine them. Flip up that back bottom piece, close that part. Then we have an ambulance. And that back section just fits on the back of the ambulance like this. And if you're wondering, no, this isn't even used in the combined mode. Weird. Anyway, the ambulance is cool. Now for number seven, and this is pretty neat. Start off by going to the back of the top of the seven, flipping those sections out, flip the seven around, or the top of the seven around 180 degrees, and fold it up like that. And then come to the very, well, before you do that, you want to come to the very top and just open up the top until it snaps into place, then fold it up. Grab the orange piece underneath, flip it down, and unpeg it from the sides of the seven. Flip it out, then flip out the wheels and close the section back up. And then take the section that's above the wheels, and open it up until it pegs into place. And then we have the trailer. And then the little orange piece can just kind of sit to the back like that. You can flip it up if you want, but it doesn't look good. And then we combine it with the number five and we have this military tractor trailer. Now, the one thing you got to be careful of is these wheels collapse way too easily. There's nothing holding them out. And that actually works really well. Reminds me of a GoBot. Number eight is by far the weakest in terms of its transformation, because quite frankly, all you do is flip up these pieces and slide out some missiles. Then grab these gray pieces and flip them out along with the bluish pieces that are there with it flip them out, fold them up, and it becomes a missile embankment. And that's it. That's all it does. If you think it turns into a giant robot torso, you're correct. Finally, the number nine is pretty easy. Start off with, come to the top of the nine, flip out this purple piece, and just leave it there. Then open up the top of the nine and flip down the wheels. And then you can snap the wheels down and into place. Grab the bottom of the nine and do the exact same thing and slide the wheels down. It's a lot harder to slide these front wheels down, so I'm not going to try and break my fingernails. Then come to the top and flip out the purple. Come to the bottom, push the purple out, and we've got ourselves a little ATV. 
While I like this set, I think the vehicle modes are a little bit weaker than the first set. The first set definitely has that whole Bruticus Combaticons theme going for it. While this set is more, a little more whimsical, maybe. At least the ATV is. I mean, a bright lilac, purple, and yellow medical ATV is cool. And then you have the ambulance, and then you have a tractor trailer, and a... Well, I still don't even know what this is, but my guess is it's supposed to sit on the back of the truck like that, even though it falls over. All right, let's go ahead and make a giant robot. All right, we're going to start with the tractor and the, well, dune buggy. And we've got feet. Apologies for the quick cut there. My son needed some assistance with something. So we're going to go ahead and flip out defeat. Urgh, come on. Come on, you. Come on, you know you want to. Okay, so the directions aren't exactly clear which one goes with which, but I'm just gonna just do it by feel. So that one worked. And then for the ATV, we flip the main purple piece around, come to the back, flip up this peg, and then fold the purple over it and snap it into place, and then plug it in like so. And there we have the legs. I don't think it's going to require much imagination to see how this is going to go. Fold up the missiles, take the legs and flip them down. And I do wish that there was more clearance here on the inside of the leg. Not a big deal, but it would have been nice. Oh, well. And then come inside here on the side and pull up the very Optimus Prime-esque face and attach some legs to the dude. And stand it up. For the ambulance arm, first unpeg the big piece here, come underneath and flip out the connector port, flip down the, well, arm. And originally I thought, oh, well, this is supposed to go inside. Well, no, it doesn't, it's too darn big. And then I thought, well, maybe this is supposed to be the connector, because it sure looks like it's supposed to be, but it isn't. So you're supposed to fold it out, the bottom part, and then this big connector goes up here on the outside of the arm. And then we attach a fist, like so. And it doesn't matter which arm or which side the ambulance or the little trailer goes on. Doesn't matter at all. So we can just close that up, snap the orange piece back into place. Oh, whoops, no, this actually needs to stay open because that's where the connector is. And then you can give it an elbow. I just kind of choose not to, if that makes any sense. Like that. So we could flip it around or we could turn it either way. Doesn't really matter. So then attach the ambulance and attach the trailer. And then we need to get him some armor. So as part of the ex as part of the multiplication table or multiplication part pull out the chest plate, which pegs it to place, and then the multiplication bit will snap onto his back, like that. And then finally we need to get him some weapons. Now the weapons here are the exact same as the other figure. We take the plus, slide it back, flip out the barrel, and then flip out the handle, put that in a, one of his hands, and then the minus symbol, flip out that, flip out the handle, flip down the stock, flip down the other stock, which is probably the magazine, and flip out the barrel. Though unfortunately there's just a little bit too much plastic up up here because, well, it doesn't actually go straight with the rest of the body. Not a big deal. And here we have the final combined form for these sets of numbers. It's very similar to the other one, but it's just as cool. I really like this, and the whole green Optimus Prime head works really, really well for this set. Both these sets are roughly the same size, and I like them both. They are so neat and fun and different. We've got a very Bruticus-like set here and a very 
Optimus Prime kind of set here. Yes, all of the limbs are interchangeable. They use the exact same connector, so all the limbs that go on the Not Burdicus can go on the Not Prime and vice versa. Definitely worth picking up if you like to swap combiners. This is a great set of figures. Totally, totally worth picking it up. I purchased it over at SirToys.com if you'd like to pick it up. If you'd like to pick these sets up, I have... Per I purchased these sets over at SirToys.com. Links are down in the description for the sets. Please be sure to follow those links if you get if you want to get them because well that'll tell you that'll tell Sir well that'll tell SirToys.com that you watched my video and went over there to pick them up. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of these guys down in the comments. As always, I am Bolt Matrix, and I will catch you next time.